The doctor's office is typically not a favorite summer destination, but Dr. Kevin King says a lot more patients have been visiting St. John's Community Health this year with COVID infections. He estimates about 50% more than the summer of 2023, still nowhere close to pandemic levels. I don't think it's necessarily of concern, but we do know that as cases rise that we need to make sure that patients are getting vaccinated. Though there's a problem, as St. John tries to stay up to date with the latest variants, they won't have the latest vaccine available for a couple of weeks. Still, they are ready to stop the spread in the fall and winter. Though right now, the CDC says, COVID tests are turning up positive at a 14% rate, also up from last year. Because we don't have the new vaccine quite yet, we can't really provide them that vaccination. But, you know, there are other things that we can do to prevent the spread of COVID apart from vaccinations, good hand hygiene, you know, staying home when we're sick and precautions that we can take as individuals. Patients like Delano DeGill plan on getting the new vaccine as soon as possible. He's 71 years old and here for a routine checkup. So you have a physical due the 29th, so we did it the 30th, okay? He has never been diagnosed with COVID himself, but has lost friends to the virus. It's his motivation to get the next vaccine. Everybody says take it is a good idea. We, we, a lot of doctors, I don't think that, um, that anybody will have an agenda. If the doctors say you should get the vaccine, I get it. I'm not ready to kick the bucket. We have to have credibility and be trustworthy. California Department of Public Health Director Tomas Aragon recognizes there may be a COVID fatigue causing some to avoid getting another vaccination. Still, they are trying to get the word out. And we have to recognize even if we do everything right, the community may still not trust us for other, 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 other reasons, including their prior experience with um, government. Meanwhile, Dr. King is encouraging his patients to get another shot ASAP. We do know that this summer, the surge that occurred was related to certain strains causing the most infection and is the most uh, contagious. So if we can get patients to get the new vaccine that's protecting against those specific strains, we can really help prevent the surge from getting worse. In the meantime, Dr. King is staying on alert as he awaits the latest shipment in the fight against the coronavirus. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest news and weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.